What up guys, Ryan here. Today we are gonna talk about how to find and install fonts that you can use on your print on demand products. Now there's a slide that I like to show when I'm teaching my college web development courses and it's just called Font Matters and it shows the uh, dating site murderer meme giving, a, uh, giving his valentine a you'll always be mine note except you can really see here from this illustration what a difference the font choice makes when you're delivering that message. So obviously font choice really matters. So now that we understand how font choice can impact our designs, let's look at some various places on the web we can go to explore new fonts and download them and use them in our designs. So to start, we should look at fonts.google.com. This is the most popular widely used font library on the web, most likely because it's Google, it's a recognized brand, and all these fonts listed here are free for both personal and commercial use. You can also use them on your websites very easily for free. But if you go and Google search for funny font or handwritten font, you're more likely to see search results pointing you to any of these four websites, Da Font, Font Spring, Font Space, or 1001 Fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up 1001 Fonts. And here you can see, this is basically just a search engine for fonts. You can type in text that you wanna preview. So I'm just going to type in St. Patrick's Day because that's a holiday coming up soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tag that says free for commercial use. What this is going to do, this green tag here, make it click it so that it becomes green. Now it's only going to show search results of fonts that we can use for free commercially. That's the right way to do this, guys. I mean, there's no one really stopping you from using fonts that are not published to this site available for commercial use. But you always, I mean, print on demand is a long-term play. You wanna be running your business the right way. So this is the safe play. To click this filter that only shows fonts that are free for commercial use. So of all these fonts that we see here, if we see one that we like that we wanna use, such as this one, Bit Crusher, St. Patrick's Day, that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit download. And just like that, we've downloaded bitcrusher.zip. I have my files downloaded directly to my desktop. So as you can see here on the desktop, I'm just going to right click and extract using WinRAR. And it's gone and dumped the font file right here. Now to install it in Windows, all we have to do is go to our Cortana, type in control panel. And then where you see fonts here, click fonts. And now if we want to install Bitcrusher, we just drag and drop this file from the desktop right there. It says installing fonts. Boom, done, just like that. And if you want to see it working, just go over here to Photoshop where I've already got a mock-up ready to go. And I'm going to click in using the text tool. The hotkey for that, if you want the shortcut, is T. Highlight the, the uh, text that I left in there. Click the font. I'm going to change impact to Bitcrusher. And boom. As we can see there, we've got our font applied to our hug dealer, I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, just like that, it only took a minute or two and we have downloaded, installed and applied our new font that is free for commercial use thanks to searching for the green money tag on our font website. So thanks for checking out this video. It was a quick one. If you liked it, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. And drop me a comment if you have any feedback. I'll see you guys at the next one. Wherever she goes, I go. We roll, we go. Flying over cities down to Rio. It's real. Love that I feel. Oh, nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute. So just chill.